Welcome to the Visual Studio 2019 launch. I'm going to be talking to you about machine learning and artific artificial intelligence for every developer with ML.NET and Visual Studio 2019. My name is Pranav Rastogi, and I'm a program manager on the .NET team, and I'm specifically working on enabling uh, machine learning for developers through our tools and frameworks. .NET has been a great platform for building any kind of application ranging from desktop, web, cloud, mobile, gaming, IoT, and now I'll show you how easy it is to build machine learning applications with .NET. ML.NET is a machine learning framework for .NET developers. You can build your own models. It's proven and extensible. It's been used heavily inside of Microsoft across all groups. It's open source and cross-platform, so it works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. And it's highly developer-focused in terms of the scenarios that we're enabling and how you can build with ML.NET. ML.NET is available at .NET slash ML. Here are some of the machine learning scenarios we are targeting with ML.NET. You can do sentiment analysis, issue classification, ranking, image classification, forecasting, predictive maintenance, recommendation. And the idea behind this is all of the developers know scenarios versus knowing ML tasks. So we are making ML.NET very approachable for .NET developers. ML.NET is proven at scale. It's enterprise ready. Microsoft has been using in internally ML.NET for the last 10 years across various products. If you've seen Bing ads or you've done chart recommendations, uh, design ideas in PowerPoint, Windows Defender, anomaly detection in Azure Stream Analytics, key influencers in Power BI, and a lot more product groups using ML.NET at scale that we have sort of over years, we've made the machine learning uh, tech behind it perform much better uh, by, by dogfooding this ourselves. Beyond our internal customers, we have lots of external customers using ML.NET at scale in production as well. SigParser is an example of a customer using ML.NET. SigParser is trying to make the CRM management much more easier by automating various tasks around email parsing, email classification, entity extraction. And here's an example use case of SigParser using ML.NET. With ML.NET, they were able to train the model and immediately test inside of their code. This makes shipping new changes faster because all of the tooling was in one place. The great benefit of ML.NET is a developer-focused framework. So it integrates to your existing tool sets across CLI, across Visual Studio, across DevOps, across CI, CD. So it is just another .NET library that you would use in your application. And SigParser was able to take these advantages of ML.NET and improve their productivity for their own uh, business. So I'm going to show you ML.NET in action right now. We will look at an example of how can we do uh, sentiment analysis using ML.NET. Let me explain you a few concepts before we see the demo. This is an example data set for doing sentiment analysis. It is based, it is the Wikipedia detox data, and it has two columns. One is the common column, and the other is the toxic column, whether this piece of, com piece of comment is toxic or not. We'll split this uh, column with data into two categories. One column becomes the features, which is the data that we'll use to train the model, and the second column is going to become the label, or the output, or the column that we're going to predict. And so simply put, sentiment ana analysis is a problem where we're trying to classify a text into into uh, two categories, A or B. In this case, is the comment toxic or not? So we'll, we'll get a yes and no answer. At its very core, here is an example of a typical machine learning workflow process. The first step in this process is to prepare your data, where you load this data, in our case, the sentiment, uh, the Wikipedia detox data set. We'll extract the features. In our case, we'll extract uh, the comments as a feature. Then we'll train the model, and we'll evaluate the model. Eventually, we'll test the model uh, in production. So let us see how this uh, sentiment analysis looks like in practice inside Visual Studio 2019. Here is a sample application showing you how you can do sentiment analysis using ML.NET. This is a console application, 
And the data set is, uh, is the same data set I showed you where I have two columns, sentiment and sentiment text. And I'm going to debug through this application to show you how easy it is to build a sentiment analysis model in ML.NET. The first step in this process is to new up a context. Uh, and then we load our training data. In our case, we are loading the Wikipedia detox data set that we just saw. In the third step, we are building the pipeline. This is where we'll extract the data. We can extract our features. And in this case, uh, we have the features column uh, as, their, our, as our comment. And we're going to predict the output, which is going to be our sentiment. Since it's a type of binary classification problem, I've added this uh, SDC learner to my pipeline. And so uh, after building this pipeline, I'm going to call uh, training on this data set. So I'm going to call pipeline.fit, which is going to uh, take the pipeline that we built earlier. It's going to train and build a model against my training data set. And then I'm going to test my data against my test data to see how the model performed. So if I go back to my console, we see that we got the model of accuracy 70%, which is not bad uh, for, for this data set. And then after I have built the model, I'm going to try out this model with my own data. So in this case, I am creating a new type called sentiment data. I'm giving, it, I'm giving this input to the model that I just built. And so if I step over this, we'll see what was the uh, predicted, predicted sentiment for this text. ML.NET is fun the sentiment was positive. The last step in our process is to save the model. So I can save the model as a binary artifact, as a zip file. So I can take it and load it from any other application that .NET is running on. So it could be web app, mobile app. Uh, you know, it could be running on the edge. It could be running on the cloud. It's just an artifact of your .NET project that you can run. So let me run through this application. Uh, you'll see. I loaded my data in this application. I extracted the features. I built the model. Then I trained the model. Then I evaluated the model. And then I used the model on my own data set. So this was very easy uh, for me to st get started with ML.NET and build a sentiment analysis model. Let's switch to image classification. ML.NET not only supports uh, classical machine learning scenarios like text classification or price prediction or recommendation, it also supports uh, deep learning scenarios. I'm going to show you how you can do image classification with a model built using TensorFlow. Deep learning is a revolutionizing space which includes uh, vision and speech recognition. It's very useful when you have lots of data to train your neural network. In our example, I'll show you how to classify an image, whether it's a dog or not a dog. And in this case, we'll use a pre-trained TensorFlow model called Inception to classify these images. So let's go ahead and see this application in practice. This is my data set that I'm going to use to uh, predict whether an image is a broccoli or not, or a canoe or not, or a teddy or not. And so I have these different images that I have captured. I've built this uh, console application where I'm going to build an ML.NET pipeline to load a pre-trained TensorFlow model and then use it inside a .NET application to classify these images. So let's go ahead and run this application. The first step in our application is to load the model. And in this case, uh, we are loading a model into the ML context pipeline. Uh, this is the path to the way all the images are stored. And I'm doing some basic transformations on the images in terms of resizing and extracting pixel. And I'm then using uh, the pre-trained TensorFlow model to train this uh, ML.NET pipeline. So let's go ahead and run this function. In this, uh, so far, we have loaded the model. And in this section, we will use the loaded model to, class to take each image and classify the type of this image. So in this code over here, I'm reading all the images, and I'm predicting what's the uh, output uh, classification for this image. So let's go ahead and run this program. It'll iterate over all the images, and it'll give me what was the output prediction with the probability score. And so you can see like it predicted some of these images correctly. Uh, like The coffee pot was predicted incorrectly, and the probability was 60%. So you get this metrics to sort of figure out whether the predictions are happening uh, correctly or not. So this was a quick and easy way uh, to use pre-trained TensorFlow models in ML.NET for image classification. 
So I hope you enjoyed this short video about ML.NET in Visual Studio 2019. ML.NET is a framework for .NET developers to use machine learning. It's uh, open source and it's proven at scale since it's being used internally at Microsoft. I showed you an example of how to do sentiment analysis and image classification. If you're interested in trying out ML.NET, here are some links to getting started. We have lots of samples which you can follow and uh, for your use case. Uh, you, can use, uh, you can read the getting started tutorials. If you have a feature or a request for a new uh, uh, area to add to ML.NET, you can follow this link. And if you're looking to use ML.NET in production, you can use this link to reach out to an ML.NET engineer who can help you get to production as well.